and welcome to Physical Geology. I am Robert Lopez, and this is a four-unit course uh, that involves lectures. Uh, so you'll be taking notes on these video lectures that I do, and you'll see that each uh, lecture topic has a series of study questions uh, that the answers to those questions will be right here from these video lectures. And then I use those study questions to help me write the exams. Uh, the other part of the course is use of a geology lab kit. So obviously you, you, you'll purchase this lab kit uh, um, and you'll be able to do the labs at home. And I'll go through that here in a moment. So once you log into Canvas, our physical geology course is section 3750. You want to click on this um, section here. That will take you to our home page. And on this home page for our Canvas course, you'll see I have the textbook information and a little bit about the lab book. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is look at the syllabus tab here. So under the syllabus tab, you can download the syllabus uh, and, and really uh, read the contract and, and the hours required um, in this course. So uh, I, I do have a syllabus quiz, which along with this video, um, I have some questions on. So um, you'll see at the top I have my contact information, uh, the requirements in terms of the textbook. Um, uh, our textbook comes with this smart work homework assignments and so your your book will come with an access code to the smart work classroom and so you can you can look through that when you get your textbook. Uh, one of the more important items is actually the lab kit because this is a lecture lab course you'll be doing the labs at home. So this kit has rocks, minerals, there's beakers, it comes with a little balance, um, and it comes with all the materials you need to complete the labs at home. Uh, each lab will take you about two and a half to three hours to complete. So that's part of the, the, the commitment for this class. And then here I have some instructions on how to order your lab kit. You want to get that ordered as soon as possible because it takes um, it may take up to a week for you to, um, to uh, for eScience Labs to deliver the course. Uh, one thing I've had students have problems with is uh, when they enter the college or university, uh, we are under West Valley Community College. So you want to actually enter West Valley Community College when you're at, uh, when you're trying to purchase your lab kit. But it's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, uh, get that ordered as soon as possible. Our first lab out of the out of the lab kit will not be until week three. So I'm giving you a little bit of time um, before, um, before our first lab comes from that kit. Now, um, in terms of the course names, right, you know, we have physical geology, which is the focus of this course, but there's another aspect of geology, which involves historical geology. Um, we'll do a little bit of that in terms of geologic time. We talk about fossils a little bit here, but primarily we'll be looking at some of the physical factors that control how streams flows, how earthquake occurred, uh, uh, how um, uh, plate tectonics and groundwater flows. So some of the uh, uh, the factors that control the deposition of rocks, the formation of rocks and uh, and minerals. You can read through the syllabus. Remember, I do have a a, 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 um, a syllabus quiz. So you want to make sure you you read through this. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is that uh, the course is going to be presented in, in the Modules tab, and I'll go through that in a moment. Each module, which is essentially a chapter or a topic that I cover, will have a learning guide. And in that learning guide will be the requirements or the, 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 the assignments that are due for that particular week. And note that homeworks and assignments are going to be due on Saturday nights. In fact, our first assignments are due February 3rd, coming up here. And uh, so you want to kind of start looking at the material there and get getting some of the quizzes done, especially the, the syllabus quiz and, and, and some of the chapter one material. And like I mentioned earlier, it is a commitment. It's uh, 10 to 12 hours per week. Remember, uh, uh, traditionally in a in, in face-to-face -face ca class, we would meet three hours uh, for lecture and an additional three hours of, of lab per week. because That's about six hours. Uh, so, so for a science course or, or co all co college courses, you're, you should be spending about two, hour, two hours at home, or at least here I have one extra hour at home for every hour of lecture. So anyhow, that, anyhow that's how it kind of breaks, breaks out. And then um, remember, this is a little bit more about the labs. Uh, I, I am going to, I have several assignments that involve uh, Google Earth. So you will have to download the Google Earth 
uh, software, it's free. You can put it on your computer. And uh, there is a KMZ file specific to the assignments I have in the Canvas quizzes that relate to Google Earth. In fact, I have a couple of videos, uh, a couple, three videos, uh, showing you how to do this and then um, actually doing some of the labs as we go along there, right? And you can read more about this here. You'll see that uh, there are Canvas quizzes. I don't time the quizzes, and I even let you take them twice. Uh, but for the exams, uh, we have four exams. There's only one attempt on the exams. Uh, but one thing I don't do, I don't put a time limit. So they're, they're pretty much open. And again, uh, each lecture topic will have a series of study questions for that particular chapter or topic. And then I choose questions or I write my exams based on these uh, study questions. And you can read through here, we have the exam dates and some of the topics that will be included in those exams. In fact, I have all of these, I have, a, I, have, I have all of them published except for exam three. I need to kind of work on this a little bit um, uh, and change some things around there. And then there's some points breakdown here. Um, if, uh, if you need any, well, in fact, I don't time the exams, so you really, um, uh, everyone's going to have extra time for the exams. Uh, again, 10 to 12 hours a week. You can go to West Valley College's e-learning homepage and look at some of the videos they have there in terms of how students are spending their time when they're doing online classes there. Uh, let's see. Um, I, I do have several field trips. I have about four that I'll be offering with my face-to-face -face classes. I'm still working on that schedule. As soon as I, I get that going, I, I can announce it to our class. And if you're around or available, that particular weekend, uh, uh, you're more than welcome to come. And it's, there are actually some extra credit points involved there. Again, some materials you need, right? Yeah, obviously, you, you, you need reliable uh, internet connections. You need the textbook, the lab kit, uh, the Google Earth and KMZ files, which I'll show you how to do, and then some of the material here. And then the rest of this here involves um, the, the, the topics in the syllabus. The next important topic in this uh, homepage for our course are the modules, right? And so in here, for the modules is where I present the course. And you'll see there are essentially 15 modules which relate to the 15 weeks of the semester. Uh, so you'll see that at the beginning we'll have this um, inter introduction to geology and uh, which in will include the syllabus quiz, this video that I'm presenting here, how to download Google Earth and the Google Earth KMZ files. I even have a smart work demo uh, from your textbook. And so you'll see this material is due February 3rd, which is this coming Saturday. Uh, also, chapter one material will be due February 3rd. But let's look at, at the um, this first module. So you'll see that each learning module uh, will have a learning guide. Each module will have a learning guide. And in this learning guide, I have specific topics as, as to what I want you to do for that particular week. So in this case, there's a course introduction. I want you to take the syllabus quiz, download the Google Earth and start playing around with that. Uh, uh, and then we'll complete uh, this um, smart work demo uh, uh, in the classroom. And then also for this coming Saturday, we'll be doing material on chapter one. So uh, again, there's a learning guide. Um, some of you may not have your textbook yet, so I provide chapter one here uh, as a PDF file so, you, so that you don't fall behind. I want you to take the Prelude Lecture and chapter one uh, um, a reading quiz. And then I have a, um, an extra credit quiz, so on chapter one, so just kind of get you going on taking these Canvas quizzes. I have a little um, assignment here that, that kind of covers some of the things that Earth scientists do, so you'll, you'll complete that topic. Uh, I, I have some, um, in fact, this, this is one of the first um, Google, Earth, Google Earth exercises, so the GeoTours. And uh, you see I have a couple of videos here, and in those two videos, I show you how to, um, to, how to actually um, navigate uh, through um, the Google Earth exercise. So in this case, here we're looking at, at Earth and Sky, the first one. And then I actually have another example as to how to use the measuring tools. In this case, this is Meteor Crater. We're looking at um, uh, the size of the crater and trying to uh, uh, estimate the, the size of the meteor that actually hit this, this spot here on Earth. Also, in this chapter 
one uh, there is this uh, there's this discussion forum I want you to to do, and then also there's a chapter one smart work. So the way the smart work is gonna gonna work is um, once you sign in and register uh, uh, through the access code in your textbook, you can. Um, directly go to our SmartWord Classroom by just clicking that link. You'll see you, um, I have an external tool that's linked to our Canvas Classroom. So when you click on this, this will take you to our SmartWord Classroom, right? And one of the things you'll want to look for is you want to make sure you're, um, you're uh, over here connected to LMS, right? So you're connected to the learning management system, in this case, our Canvas. And so here's a quiz. You would, you would just take this quiz here and then submit it, and then the grade from from the SmartWare classroom here is, will go back directly to our our Canvas uh, gradebook. Uh, so again, uh, to to access the SmartWare, there's a there's a um, a code that comes a registration code that comes with your textbook. If you buy a used textbook, there's a way of 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 actually getting access to the SmartWare classroom. And it's it's about twenty five dollars for the whole semester. And um, you can even sign up for free for like 15 days and then eventually um, uh, uh, pay that later on. But you can look through that. There's some different paying options to do it. Um, that's if you already have the textbook. And so when we look here at the, at the first module, uh, I want you to look down here and there's Google Earth and the KMZ files. So for this one, what I want you to do is download uh, Google Earth onto your computer. So you can do it here. Um, and also, you need these GeoTour files. But before you download the, the GeoTour's KMZ files, uh, you want to download Google Earth. And so when you click on this link, it'll take you to Google Earth, their webpage. Uh, Google Earth now is using Chrome, so they want you to use Google Earth Chrome. The KMZ files that we're using doesn't really work with this Chrome. It doesn't, give, it doesn't allow us to measure things like we normally do. Uh, with the older version. So you want to come up here to the top and download an older version of Google Earth here. And once you click here, uh, you can download Google Earth Pro. And that's what I did for my computer there. And so uh, you'll be able to open that up and then you can download the KMZ file. So um, I'm not going to do it here. I'll let you do that on your own, on your own computer. Now for the KMZ files, when you click on the KMZ file, make sure you download this one here. There's, an, there's another version of, of um, Essentials of Geology, GeoTours, uh, which is the one, the first, the first version. You don't want to use that one. You want to use the second version. So download this one here. Click on this one, and then it's going to ask you to open it. And so uh, once you download Google Earth on your computer, you're going to choose to open this with Google Earth. Mm -hmm.